What's up gamers, Nico Finno here and today we're taking a look at how to hunt and catch rare fish in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So you want to catch them all in Animal Crossing New Horizons. First thing we need to go over are some factors of each individual species of fish. So we're going to open up the Critopedia and we're going to head straight over to the Great White Shark as an example. So seasonality is the first thing we'll talk about. And this depends on which hemisphere you're playing in. So if you're playing in the Northern Hemisphere like I am, the Great White Shark is available from June, July, August, and September. But if you're playing in the Southern Hemisphere, that is going to be different. It's going to be December, January, February, and March. So depending on which hemisphere you're playing in is going to depend on when you're going to be able to catch each individual species. Next thing we want to look at is the active hours of each fish. The Great White Shark is available from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. as stated in the bottom right hand corner. And we can only catch the Great White Shark at sea, which is the location. Now, different species of fish will have a weather type. So you, uh, if it's raining or something like that, and then we have the size of the shadow, which we will now go through. Now, as you are searching for fish, whether it be in the river or at the sea or any various location, you're going to notice all different types of shadow sizes. Now, these shadow sizes range from tiny, small, medium, large, largest then we have long and skinny and we have dorsal finned and the long and skinny and dorsal finned are all the largest type which is a six so one two three four five six are the sizes that we're looking for and you're going to know roughly around what size each fish you're looking for is going to be so you're going to know what shadow to look for I will link a awesome website in the description down below, which has every single fish, where to catch it, what hemisphere, what season, what time, and what size shadow it will have, which is going to be really, really handy if you're searching for a certain particular type of fish, or if you're just working your way through the Critopedia to fill up every single species of fish, which is really, really handy and it really really is super helpful so depending on what type of fish you are looking for there are two easy ways to spawn that fish the first is obviously going to be running up and down the area that you're looking for now there'll be you'll be able to tell which shadow you're after so if it's not the shadow you know the fish is that you're trying to catch you will scare that fish off by sprinting at it or trying to jump across the water to scare it or throwing in your fishing line and then failing the catch to get rid of it. And then moving away from the area, coming back so a new shadow spawns and you continue to do that until the right size is there that you require. The other way is to dig up manila clams. Now manila clams are super easy to find on the beach. You can see like little bubble water spouts coming out. You just chuck your shovel in there, dig it up and you can get the DIY recipe. Take it to a DIY bench. If you don't have, if you haven't built one yet, you can just go to resident services as you always do when you build tools and you can make some fish bait. Now you can go to any area, river, pond, pier, sea, river, cliff top, any area, chuck in this bait and it will force spawn a fish for you. And you can continue to chuck in bait until you get the right shadow size for the fish you are looking for. So with all this information now, let's put it all to the test and go through a simple, simple catch. We're going to go into our Critopedia. As I said before, there's a link in the description on every single fish, shadow, size, when to catch it, where to catch it, etc. So the Blue Marlin is currently active at all hours of the day. It's seasonality is as you can see that's for the northern hemisphere and we can get it because we are in april location is the pier so we need to go to the pier now chances are getting a 
size six spawn at the pier isn't going to be too easy especially if there's nothing here you're gonna have to run away and try and respawn a shadow every single time when you come back if it's a new shadow you're gonna have to scare it until you get a size six or we just get some bait chuck in the bait boom and repeat that process until you get a size six when you get a size six you lure the fish just like any other time throw your line in wait for it to come tie it perfectly and fingers crossed you catch yourself a blue marlin easy that's how you do it so again guys link in the description down below of every single fish what seasonality you can catch it in where to catch it what time of day what size shadow it is all you need to do is look that up go to that place and if you can't naturally spawn that shadow you just use fish bait until you get the size you want and catch the fish you need for your critopedia it's as easy as that let's move on to another example to solidify your understanding and so you just know how to do this for every single fish and it's just going to be so so helpful for you to catch every single fish because you gotta catch them all so with those two methods you are good to go to catch any fish on your island as long as you know where when and what size the fish is that you're looking for you will be able to hunt it down and obtain it it might take some time but nevertheless you have the tools and the knowledge now to catch those fish something else i do want to cover is using your nook miles to buy nook miles tickets and travel to randomly generated islands now there are several good islands for fishing some have been dubbed big fish island rare fish island but the one we're going to cover today is just a common island that is a pretty high percent spawn rate when you do travel to a random generated island and it's this one here as you can see we have the waterfall the river heading out to the ocean and we have a small pond here now this comes in a few different variations there is one without the pond, which is actually easier to do this exact method. But nevertheless, I did it with the pond and this is what you do. So we are hunting the sturgeon and the sturgeon only spawns in the river mouth. So we know if we see a size six in the river mouth, we're pretty much good to go. It's a sturgeon and we know that from using the website that I was talking about before. There are multiple online that you can look up, but I will link this one in the description. I think it's such a great tool. So pretty much what we want to do is we want to do a circle kind of loop or up and down the river up to the cliff top and then around to the pond, scaring off every single fish as fast as we can. What this will do is it will force spawn the sturgeon into the river mouth. So by eliminating these spawns on the clifftop, the pond, and the river, we are spawning the sturgeon into that river mouth. Now, this took me about five to 10 minutes, and I could do it over and over again. It really isn't that hard. It's just a really, and it is a really good method to be able to force spawn different types of fish. Now, where this method obviously won't work for every single type of fish, it is great if you know the shadow size you want and you can eliminate all the other smaller shadows to help respawn fish a lot faster. Instead of having to try and catch them, you can just scare them away, move down the river or up to the cliff top or over to the pond and new fish will spawn super quickly until you get that size five or size six or whatever size it is that you need and there is a better chance of you catching the fish you want based on that. And this works really, really well if you're looking for dorsal fin shadows. Like if you're running up and down the beach on your own island and all you're getting is these regular shadows, you're scaring them off. You just keep going up and down, up and down. 
you're going to turn over those shadows a lot faster so you can get those dorsal fin shadows so you can catch your sharks or your sunfish and stuff like that. Anyway, homies, I'm going to be wrapping this one up right here. If you haven't done so already, make sure you leave a like on this video. Drop me a comment down below if you have any questions, queries, or any helpful tips that you want to leave. And of course, absolutely smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future content here on the Nico Finno channel. And of course, until next time, Nico Finno out.